bacteria are everywhere. They are in our cars, on your seat, on your pen, even on your food. They are in every spot they could possibly think of. When we think of bacteria, we think bad bacteria that make you sick. But there is good bacteria that are known as microbes. Human microbiomes are made up of millions of microorganisms living in the human body. These microorganisms outnumber human cells 10 to 1. These microorganisms are ones that the human body need. They are not harmful and in fact the complete opposite. They help with everything that we break down, produce and recycle. According to Brown Science Center, human breast milk has now evolved to not only nourish an infant's body, although to nourish the microorganisms as well. Antibiotics are used to kill the bad bacteria, although now they are starting to develop many ways which allows them to become resistant. As a result of bacteria becoming resistant, this has led to the rise of the superbugs. Alexander Fleming discovered the first antibiotic in 1920 by accident. Fleming had left out a culture plate of virulent Staphylococcus bacteria open. This was the discovery of penicillin. Superbugs are bacteriums that have become resistant to all types of antibiotics. Fortunately, there are still some type of antibiotics that bacteria have not become resistant to just yet. Although, scientists know that it will not be long until bacteria are resistant to all types of antibiotics. This is the fight that many scientists are now realising could very much be the end of many lives. Scientists have now discovered how bacteria have become resistant to antibiotics. It is through this that enables our knowledge of the resistance of antibiotics. For instance, there are many ways that a superbug can be, in a sense, created. As a result of bacteria having the ability to share genes between one another, there are three main ways that bacteria can pass on the genes to eventually create bacteria that are resistant to many different types of antibiotics. These three ways are 1. Once a bacteria has died 2. Passed on through viruses 3. Passed on through sex As a result of bacteria being able to pass on genes, when a bacterium dies, other bacteria are able to collect some of the genes of the dead bacterium. The bacterium that has picked up genes from the dead bacterium now have some of the dead bacteria's traits that therefore results in the resistance of certain antibiotics. Bacteria can also get viruses. Basically what happens is a bacterium is infected with a virus and once it has infected that virus, it will retrieve some of its genes. Later on, when it infects another bacterium, it will then transfer the genes taken from the previous bacteria and inject those genes into the second bacteria. Bacteria 2 now it will have a gene from bacteria 1 where it enables the second bacteria to become resistant to some antibiotics. The third way that bacteria are able to transfer genes and later on become a superbug is through sex. Sex allows them to pass on their genes from a connection from bacteria 1, who is the donor, to bacteria 2, the receptor. Therefore bacteria 2 now has the ability to be resistant to some types of antibiotics and is now a superbug. There are three ways that bacteria become resistant to antibiotics. 
One way is that antibiotics more or less has a target inside the bacterial cell, although the bacteria will essentially push the antibiotic back out. The bacterium pushes the antibiotic out to prevent the antibiotic from finding its target. This technique that bacteria use is to protect themselves from tetracycline. Another way bacteria become resistant to antibiotics is by once again having a target in the bacterial cell. This time the bacterium changes the target enough so the antibiotic cannot detect it. This is where the antibiotic is not effective and the bacterium is resistant. This technique that bacteria use is to protect themselves from streptomycin. The last defense technique against antibiotics is when the bacteria have a defense mechanism that goes out looking for the antibiotic before it can get to its target. This technique is used against penicillin. As a result of many bacteria becoming resistant to antibiotics, people who have superbugs are isolated until doctors and scientists are able to find an antibiotic that the bacteria are not resistant to. This is why resistance against antibiotics has become such a big deal. According to Sutt, microbes that scientists once thought were easily eliminated by antibiotics can still thrive in the body. Antibiotics for decades were a great source to have. They helped cure many war victims and many patients that were on the brink of death. Although Along with the good that antibiotic has brought, a negative side to antibiotics has emerged. The emergence of superbugs has completely changed medicine and now tests scientists to introduce new antibiotics that can fight off superbugs before we travel back to the prehistoric times where humans could die from a common cold. These are the problems we are facing and questions to re-answer. Due to the fact that bacteria are rapidly increasing their resistant rates against antibiotics, scientists have no other choice but to produce new antibiotics that are able to kill off the superbugs. Due to the fact that antibiotics are being used more than they should, this has allowed bacteria to become resistant. Stuart Lively also states that antibiotics are being overexploited today. Humans will always have to continue to find new drugs to fight off bacteria. And bacteria will always find a way to become resistant to the antibiotics we create. This cycle will continue and there is a very good chance that the rise of the superbug will be the end of us.